Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I want to go over my panfish slash smaller fish ice fishing setups with you guys. Um, as you guys have been seeing, the ice fishing season is a little bit delayed up here in Ontario. We've had a couple of really, really warm days, a couple of uh, days where we had a lot of rain. It's really screwed up the ice, but um, we should be getting out here pretty soon with these cold days coming ahead. So today I figured I'm going to talk about my ice fishing setups, uh, what I use, why I use them, and hopefully you guys will take away something from this video. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the combos. Uh, these are the three combos that I bring with me when I'm fishing for panfish. I fish for crappie a lot, sometimes perch as well. And these are actually also the combos that I bring with me when I'm fishing for smaller trout, like brook trout and splake, and when I'm targeting um, some of those smaller walleye lakes as well. I usually bring two of these rods or one of these rods and one bigger one as well. So first up, um, I've had this combo for two or three years now. Uh, this was my first G Loomis IMX Pro Ice I picked up. It's a 3-1-1 extra fast, so 31 inches, one power, which is a medium light, and extra fast tip. As you guys can see there, very fast tip. Uh, the IMX rods come with, or the smaller ones I should say, come with a split cork grip. Going up to the guides, we have recoil guides on there which are great for ice. You just flip the ice right off. As for the reel here, I am running a 500 size Sienna. I went with this reel because it's super, super light. Keeps the combo very light and it's just really, really nice to fish with. Uh, line, I'm running five or eight pound Power Pro Ice Tech to a four pound liter. So that's combo number one. Combo number two is very, very similar. I just picked this up this year. Um, I pretty much just wanted another panfish rod to run some treble hooks, treble hook baits on. The first rod here that I showed you guys, I know it's not what's tied on, but this is the rod that I that I run all of my tungsten jigs on. Um, if I'm fishing a minnow, uh, a little worm, or if I'm fishing a tungsten jig with a plastic, this is the combo I will run. I really like that fast action tip for soft plastics. Um, I feel like you have a little bit more control of your bait and when the fish, especially like crappy, when they bite really, really lightly, uh, that fast tip is super, super sensitive. Um, so I feel like it kind of brings more fish up for me. So this rod is very, very similar. Like I said, I just picked it up. It's the 331 Extra Fast IMX Pro. So it's 33 inches, one power, medium light, extra fast tip. So it's pretty much the same rod, just a little bit longer. Um, as for the real 500 size Nasi, I want the Nasi because I want to use this combo for a little bit bigger fish per se. Um, if I go, you know, walleye fishing, I want to have a little bit of lighter rod like this that I can bring with me. So this is more of like a multi-purpose rod in my mind at least. So the reason I went with the Nasi is because it has a really, really smooth drag. And when I'm finding those bigger fish, I really want something that I can trust. And I've been using the Nasi's for, for so long, you know, open water and ice fishing that this is a reel I trust. I did actually already put this reel to the test. I caught a pretty large splake a couple of days ago. Um, it was a five or six minute flight. So definitely tested the drag out on this and I'm really, really happy with my purchase. As for the line, five pound power pro to a four pound fluorocarbon leader. And like I said, this was supposed to be more of a multi-purpose rod. I do have a tungsten jig on there right now. But like I said, I usually have a tungsten jig on my 31. And on here, I usually run something with a treble hook, a little buckshot, a little spoon, or a little uh, rattle trap. But this rod, also extra fast, but it is a little bit longer, so it has a little bit more backbone, a little more forgiveness. Um, overall, really happy with this combo. So last but not least, um, like I mentioned before, the 33 is a new rod for me. So last couple of years, I've been running the 31 and this rod right here. 31 for my little tungsten jigs, little fixed baits. And this rod I have been using for my treble hook baits. I still keep it, keep it with me, even though I have two here um, that are a little bit more sensitive, a little bit nicer rods. Uh, but I still keep it with me because um, I really do feel like having a softer tip like this Convergence has, uh, can give you an advantage sometimes depending on how they're biting. So this rod right here is a 34 medium light fast action Convergence. This is the older model. Um, still has the cork handle here. As for the real, 500 size Sedona. The Ice Tech braid right there again to four pound liters. That softer tip 
that the convergence has uh, gives you a little bit more forgiveness than the extra fast tips so a lot of the times i will run my treble hook baits and my spoons and such on this rod right here it's not as light it's not as sensitive it's not as nice to fish with per se compared to the imx rods uh, these rods do have a hefty price tag um, and it's something that um, like open water fishing when you're out there a lot you can kind of justify grabbing a couple more rods or or upgrading a little bit uh, this is definitely something that i would consider an upgrade to your ice fishing combo but it's something that is really hard to put down once you start using it hence why i'm on rod number two now but having a softer tipped rod in your arsenal um, is really really important especially for treble hook baits and spoons and such so yeah hopefully you guys um learned a little something from this video uh, do I need three rods? No. Um, have I been getting by fine with just the two? Yes. Um, I definitely did not need to buy the 33 uh, inch IMX, but like I said, once you start fishing with these IMXs, it's pretty much impossible to fish with anything else. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you guys have any questions about any of these combos or anything like that, let me know down below. I'm also going to leave links down below to all of these combos, the rod, the uh, reel, and the line. And stay safe out there, guys. I know we're antsy to get out ice fishing. Always spud your way out. Wear a floater suit and always have picks on you because you never know what's going to happen. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next one.